notice how you have a lot of hiss here. And that's coming from the internal electronics. These USB mics are a little bit noisy. And then you combine that with all of the you know, USB port in the computer is playing into it, etc. So we want to get rid of that. And you remember in module one that we used the noise reduction tool in Audacity. This is going to be similar. There is a tool built right into Reaper that we're going to use. But remember the first thing we had to do was we had to sample the noise, select just the noise so that the computer knows what noise sounds like so it can get rid of it. And uh, you notice if I try to drag and select here, it's uh, snapping to these individual little grid, grid lines. Just go ahead and select the uh, Snap Enable button to disable that. And now we can drag and select to our heart's content. Also, a quick note. When you are selecting within Reaper and, uh, and a lot of programs, don't put your mouse on the audio item because that will actually drag the audio item around. So what you want to do is be below it or above it. You can do it from up here. You can do it from down here, whatever. Let's select some of this audio that's happening before the voice comes in. We want to make sure we sample only the noise and not the voice because then the program will try to get rid of the voice when it tries to get rid of the noise as well. So we don't want that. We're going to come down here and select Toggle Repeat and that will play only what's in this selection. And we'll just do that over and over. So now Welcome to the first homebrew... Uh, I hit the wrong button there. Okay, so now that that's done, we are going to go to the FX button here and select the effect that is going to reduce the noise. In Reaper, the effect we're going to use is actually called R-E-A-F-I-R. All of these effects, by the way, that start with REA, that's for Reaper. And the ones that start with JS, that's for what they call Jesus Sonic. Those are all built right into Reaper, so that's very cool. We want the one called REAFIR. The FIR stands for something technical like finite impulse response or something. Don't worry about that right now. Okay, so let's come over to this drop down menu and select subtract. And then we are going to check this box. This is automatically build noise profile to sample just the noise. Okay, now hit the space bar on your computer to play and it will sample that noise and you'll hear it for a second and then it'll be gone. Okay, now hit the space bar again. Okay, now this is very important. Uncheck the box that says automatically build noise profile. The reason why is that if you leave it checked, it will try to sample again some more noise and it will grab your voice and think it's noise and all kinds of ugliness will ensue. So go ahead and now that you've unchecked this, close this box. You can see the green here on the FX button is showing you that you actually do have that effect affecting this track now. So now let's listen to just the section we selected. Totally silent, huh? Very cool. So let's come over here and Take toggle repeat off and hear what we got. Welcome to the first homebrew audio podcast. Sounds great. Well, the noise is gone and we have a nice clear voice. <laughs> 